Mike. Well, Lou Ferrigno, you may remember him as television's Incredible Hulk. Well, Lou had been training Jackson for his upcoming tour, and I had a chance to speak with him about the state of Jackson's health and also how the two met. Well, Michael, about uh, 15 years ago, was recommended to see me, but he had a doctor friend. We hit off an instant friendship, and, you know, I love Michael to death. It was so sweet because he was with me. I mean, we just had the best of time, and I was like his uh, personal friend. I want to start crying on TV because I'm just like just devastated about this. I know that you are, Lou. I know so many people said recently his health was a little suspect, that he was very thin. And did you did you not sense that he was not, not as healthy as he should have been? He might have been a little thin because he was under a lot of stress training for the tour. But when I put him through the routine, everything, I mean, he was just fine. I mean, very energetic, and the guy was in fantastic shape. When was the last time you had a chance to work out with him? To see him, I would say about three weeks ago. I've gone to his house like three or four times a week. What kind of things were you doing to work out with him? They had, had an exercise board. We did a lot of core training, a lot of exercise with band. He didn't want to weight train, so he mostly wanted to deal with flexibility and conditioning. And did you have him on a certain diet to try and get more protein or any kind of nutrients that would help him in working out? I believe he, I think he was a vegetarian and he only ate once a day, but I just told him the proper supplements to take. But the most important thing was the attitude to mind because he really wanted to be in his best shape. Was he in any obvious pain whenever you trained? He didn't look like he was in the pain because he was on the treadmill, he did the stretching exercises. But you got to remember one thing, that the harder you work when you work on a tour, for example, or the dance and the training, of course you're going to be under a lot of strain and put the body under tremendous strain. So when I told Mike about all the flexibility, I told him to take a lot of calcium, magnesium supplements, it's just good for the joints and tendon. But with me, I mean, um, he seemed fine. You didn't see him to be? to be that frail? Well, when I saw him, it might have been a little bit light, but you got to remember that dancing four or five hours a day under tremendous threat, and was eating once a day. So he had a tendency to keep losing weight. But I, I think eventually he would have gained all the back once the tour began. Were you just absolutely shocked when you learned that he had cardiac arrest, that he had died? I mean, I, I was just uh, shocked because I didn't want to believe it because we're talking about a guy 50 years old. And um, it's so sad because so many people want to see him at the concert. I couldn't fly to England to be with him, to go to the concert, because I was looking forward to it. And it was such a shock to me, because I'm still even numbed about it, because I keep getting the impression that I'm going to leave now and go train Michael, go to his house, and then give him, give him another hug and kiss. You didn't think he was pushing himself too hard? There's a chance he might have, because when you have a tour and he has such a short amount of time, to be hurting all day, and then uh, at the same time training, running around. But all I know is that he wasn't lonely anymore. He was a very happy man. He didn't die lonely because 15 years ago he was extremely lonely. He was a prisoner. But this time he had the three wonderful children. And they were all excited to see the Incredible Hulk come to the house. And Michael was <laughs> excited to tell him about that. He says, Look at the Incredible Hulk. Look at his arm. And the kids would be all excited looking at me. So it was like a family reunion. So, Lou, you thought he was physically able to do this tour in London? Everything that you saw, you thought he was physically able to do it? Yeah, he was definitely going to pull a lot because apparently when I read, I've heard that when he would do it, uh, be hurt, practicing for the tour, he would dance as good as anyone. And, you know, I'm an expert, and I was with Michael. If I didn't feel Michael could have uh, pulled this off, I would have told him. But working with him, he, the main thing is he was very determined. I, I think he was going to give, it, to give the greatest tour in an in, in entire life. And he said he was determined to show his, his children, Michael was determined to show his mm. children what he could do. But Lou told me that as a kind of thank you for getting him in shape for his tour, uh, Lou said that Michael promised to help him if he ever went on Dancing with the Stars. Listen. And while we were training, uh, he heard that I was in the running, which I hope to do Dancing with the Stars. So he started to teach me the moonwalk, and he said to me, promised me two things. You never stop acting and do Dancing with the Stars because I want to be there for you. The Hulk moonwalking. He, he brought that up a few times during our, our interview. The moonwalk. He brought it up. And the Hulk does that. All right.